I'm Linda Spiegel, I'm 57 years old, and back in 2004 I was diagnosed with atrial fibrillation. About the time I was diagnosed, I was a very avid runner doing marathons, half marathons, and really running on a daily basis. Well, you know, I was hiking in Italy in 2004. Beautiful scenery, I was in the mountains on this, with this hiking tour group, and I, my heart was racing unbelievably out of control. We thought it was the altitude. You kind of think of that cartoon where the uh, the cartoon character's heart goes boom, boom, boom. Atrial fibrillation is actually a pretty serious condition and uh, it definitely increases one's uh, risk of dying early. And what it is really is an abnormal, uh, abnormal electrical impulses which affect the upper chambers of the heart, uh, causing them to beat rapidly and out of sync with the lower chambers uh, of the heart. And as a result, uh, this can lead to people feeling uh, palpitations, anxiety, uh, fatigue. Uh, it can also cause chest pain, and in the future uh, is also associated with the increased risk of developing heart failure, as well as uh, a seven times greater increased risk of stroke. But when I learned about the University of Chicago Medical Center's um, introduction of the da Vinci robot technique and you know and, and I did some research on it and I actually spoke I emailed Dr. Givinandam and he called me and we spent some time chatting about it and he really let me do due diligence and ask him a lot of questions. Linda came to us from New York and she came all the way to Chicago because we could offer something unique and the unique thing we offered was to be able to do this not only minimally invasively, but potentially permanently. He really cared, and you know, the other thing that sort of brought it home for me is he's also, like myself, a very active person and very into fitness and health. But even more, when he shared with me that his own wife also has atrial fibrillation, and this is what he wanted for her as well, I, I, I didn't have to think twice. I felt like when I flew here and got off the plane, I'd never met any of these people before, but I felt as if I was coming to see friends. So the new minimally invasive techniques that we've developed uh, basically involves using one incision on each side of the chest. And basically uh, using new technology, we're able to create uh, electrical scars uh, within the heart, therefore uh, decreasing the incidence of atrial fibrillation uh, dramatically in, in these patients. While I was in the hospital, I had normal sinus rhythm for the first time in my life, and it never went away. <laughs> and so the, the major benefits are that we can get people back into normal sinus rhythm, have them be taken off of their antiarrhythmic medications, be off of their anticoagulation, which has significant risks for bleeding and other such complications. Uh, and along with this procedure, we also remove the left atrial appendage, which is the major source of the, the formation of blood clots and uh, the risk of stroke with atrial fibrillation. It's a scary thought to be always wondering, you know, when is this bad thing going to happen? Well, when you have the confidence that it's not going to happen, then you can achieve great things. But the day of the New York Marathon, while other people were running 26 miles in the midst of a crowd, I went on a four-mile run by myself um, through the park near where I live, and it could have been a marathon. For me to run without my heart racing out of control, feeling good, and I just felt like myself again. It's people like Linda and other patients like her that make work very rewarding. Well, I think we're always striving to uh, push the envelope, and that is uh, to improve, continually improve patient safety and outcomes, and uh, with that, applying the, the latest technology to advance the field and improve uh, patient outcomes and safety. I'm 100% cured and you know, every day I, I, I really, I thank God for, for my health and I thank the surgeons at, uh, at University of Chicago Medical Center because they gave me that level of confidence that this was the right thing to do and you know, at the end of the, the, end of the story is it worked out perfectly so I couldn't be happier.